it is a fact that Jesus Christ lived and it is a fact that Jesus Christ was arrested and falsely accused, tried, convicted, and sentenced to death on a cross. And uh, Christians call that day when he died for us Good Friday. The reason it's good is because of what he accomplished on the cross for you and for me. Why in the world would the Son of God, Jesus Christ, come and give his life for you and for me? It's actually very simple. You and I, sinners, deserve punishment for our sin. Jesus Christ loves us and he came from heaven and he chose to give his life as a sacrifice in our place. He actually took the wrath of God, the suffering that you and I deserve upon himself and he died upon that old rugged cross. I mean, why would Jesus Christ do this and what importance is that? The fact is that when Jesus Christ took your sin and mine and he chose to give his life and die for us, he made it possible for you and for me to be forgiven of all our sin. The requirement is to believe on Jesus Christ, to admit to him that you are a sinner, to ask him to forgive you of your sin, and to receive him as your Savior and the Lord of your life. That sounds so simple, but that was the simple plan that God intended for you and for me to be able to understand and to accept and then to receive Jesus Christ as our Savior. Now, what happens when you receive Jesus as your Savior is you receive a whole new life, uh, a life that will live forever, not here in our physical body, but who you are, your soul, your spirit will live forever with God. So I uh, encourage you at this season of the year, as I would all year long, to examine yourself and be sure, are you certain when your day comes to leave this life, are you ready to meet God face to face and to know when you meet him that he's going to say, enter in, well done, good and faithful friend.